Okay, uh, in this video I'm going to show you a little quick tutorial um, to bas basically be able to tell if your MacBook uh, Air, MacBook Pro has water damage in it. Um, in the last few years, they, you know, Apple started putting uh, water damage indicators um, on all their devices. They not only do it with, uh, uh, you know, the laptops, but they also do it with, you know, iPads and um, iPods and stuff like that. This right here, particular unit, is a MacBook Air. 2014 um, and it is a A let's see what is this this is an um, A1466 and you know a lot of people you know when it comes to water damage uh, it's very difficult to tell you know people think oh no you know you're gonna open it up and you're gonna actually see the water and uh, you're gonna see corrosion but a lot of times that's not the case um, I've noticed I don't know what the deal is with MacBooks and water damage and water spills. It's like, you know, when you compare that to, um, to you know, regular PCs, whether it be HP or Dell, it just seems like there's much more more people with that own MacBooks that spill liquid on it. I, I don't really get it. To be honest with you, you'd think it'd be the, you know, the other way around because, you know, if someone pays a thousand bucks for a laptop, you know, they're going to usually be a little bit more careful with it. Um, what's interesting is I had um, I had someone uh, coming from a, a television company, uh, a cable provider. I'm not going to mention the the cable provider um, or the company that he worked for, but he uh, I had a conversation with him. And we were talking about MacBooks, um, and he works with a large uh, uh, a large retail uh, 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 basically electronic place and you can about guess what it is but again I'm not going to mention that name either but he said what he would do is he would purchase a brand new MacBook and he'd get the extended warranty on it you know uh, and that would and he would get the the kind of warranty where if he physically broke it himself or dropped water on it or whatever he'd get a new MacBook what he would do is, is he'd keep it for the th the full two or three years, whatever it is, and um, he'd basically, after three years, he would just toss it in the bathtub, you know, say whoops, um, and then he would take it back. He would take it back to the uh, place he got it from at this major electronic place, and he said the reason he knew about it because he used to work, you know, work at this kind of place, you know, this place. And he would take it back and say, "Hey, I dropped it in the bathtub." And they'd give him, an, you know, they wouldn't fix his MacBook because, you know, you drop it in the bathtub. It's like you might as well just—it's not worth repairing, or it'd almost be impossible to repair. So he he basically would get a free a free MacBook, uh, newest edition. You know, they'd give him like the newest one, uh, which is ex you know completely dishonest, and um, that's something that I would never do or recommend. Because uh, karma catches up with us all. Anyways, you know, here we go with the 2014 MacBook, and um, I purchased this one at a swap meet, and you can see, I see one spot here where it's got the indicator of the that shows the water damage. So you basically want to look for a little red uh, indicator, which is right here. Um, Actually, it's right there. Um, and I'm assuming that if it's no, doesn't have water damage, it would be black or whatever. Some of them are a little bit neon, orangish, reddish looking. Um, and a lot of you know, I'm not a repair person, so. And actually, when I come, when I look at it, I do see. I do see a little bit of uh, corrosion here as well. You can see there, there's like bluish stuff here, where it's been corroded. Um, anyways, what I was saying is, is that repair people, sometimes they want to look at, you know, if it's got more than one indicator, um, they can see what the extent of the damage is to the to the logic board, uh, and and basically determine if it's you know worth being fixed or not. Again, I'm not a I'm not a tech, but. Um, that is one way to tell, and what the reason that one reason they have these, you know, Apple has these indicators is 
you know, a general regular warranty is not going to cover water damage. You know, if you don't purchase the, you know, the extended accidental kind of kind of warranty, and um, if it just stops working, Apple can evaluate it, and they could say, hey, well, you drop water on it, you drop some water on it, so no, it's not covered by the warranty, um, and that protects them. So that way, you can know, you can get educate yourself before you take it in there. You know whether it's got that indicator on it or not. Anyways, um, that is this video. Hope you enjoy.